Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. This week I'm talking about the week of February 6th. Am I? Yeah, February 6th through the 12th. Holy crap, time is moving really, really fast. Um, quick update from my end is I had heat exhaustion or the stomach bug or something, some kind of flu over the weekend. Maybe that's why time is moving so fast for me. In any case, I had a lot of time to sit in the quiet of my own mind and the full moon illuminated definitely a few things for me. Right now the full moon is shining brightly outside still. I'm recording this um, in the early hours of the morning. Um, and by now it took me some time to prepare for the video and so by now the sunrise is coming up and will drown out the moon soon. But in the meantime the crystals are charging. And yeah, so, you know, Leo, the full moon, how did it go for you? What did you reflect on? What did you, um... What were you thinking about? What was on your mind? Because Leo rules the fifth house in the zodiac chart, the fifth house of creativity, love, pleasure, joy, and your inner child. And the, the latter is something I want to focus on this week because I see that by the end of the week we have Mars sextile Chiron. Chiron is the wounded healer. And so anytime we are have a wound, Chiron is actually referring to like past life and karmic wounding. But still, inner child stuff, you know, and Mercury, Mercury is um, moving into Aquarius at the same time as this transit. So I think that this is an important one to look out for. It's happening this coming weekend on Saturday in its exactitude, but we can, we don't have to look at exactitudes, because I feel like sometimes I feel these energies come up like a week in advance, that's how tuned in I am, or a couple weeks in advance, or maybe it comes after the fact, like it, th there's no, there's no exactitude, I mean technically there is, but for you personally, and for me, um, things can come at almost any time. So anyway, this is what I want to say. Mercury rules the first 13 years of our lives. Mercury is our first impressions. It's how we... Mercury is also communication and, and first impressions. That's why. Mercury moves into Aquarius. Aquarius is zoomed out, a little bit detached. And Mars is transiting Chiron in a, with a harmonious um, angle that's 60 degrees. So it feels like we're getting sort of like um, a wide angle view on some of our issues, on our, on our wounds, on our past wounds, karmic wounds, or inner child wounds. And then there's some other transits here as well um, that are described this way. Attraction to complex problems, analytical abilities, and good arguments. So see, it's like we're coming around to what these issues may be for ourselves and really working on them or working through them. Um, spontaneity, social life and love life this week. All right, that's Venus and Uranus. Surprise lover. Share a dream or a fantasy. That is today, Monday. Mercury sextile Neptune. Share a dream or a fantasy. So it sounds like this week might be like um, coming to terms with or finally speaking out loud something you've always wanted that maybe has had been repressed because of one thing or another. February, it's our first full week of February, and February is the month to manifest your deepest desires. Absolutely. Absolutely. Manifest your deepest desires. Let's get some cards around this week. There we go. Oh, that's funny. This card jumped. I thought it was this one, but this one was underneath. That's so crazy. <laughs> the Six of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. That's definitely, I mean, there's childhood, right? We know that. The Six of Cups is childhood. The Seven of Pentacles is an, is investment 
is hard work already having been done. Okay. I'm definitely resonating with this so far. Let me know how it's resonating for you. <sighs> Knight of Swords, the Chariot, Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, the Hermit, Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles. <laughs> that was my alarm to wake up this morning. We are awake way lo way sooner than any normal time that Grace would be waking up at because, like I said, I was like out for a couple days. I was just like in bed all day. Uh, Saturday, right? Yeah, all day Saturday, most of the day yesterday. And then, I guess when I went to bed last night, I was really getting tired of being in bed. So it was hard to get through the night, but I did. And then as soon as it was like 5 a.m., I was like, I'm getting out of this bed. Yeah, and you can tell I'm wide awake. Definitely wide awake. So thanks for joining me this morning. All right, we got the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, Two of Pentacles. <sighs> I definitely see a choice here because we got the two of pentacles and the two of swords on the diagonal with the ten of swords in the middle it's like I'm feeling resistance to making a choice um, there's something unknown or unexpected and so I wonder if there's something that you rushed into or something you know a situation that you kind of fell into either on accident um, or yeah it feels like an accident or it, or it, it was unknown or unexpected it is something unknown or unexpected and I feel like it really killed your drive it just came up suddenly okay it's sudden and it's also like really killing some motivation here but you know that's okay because in the center we do have the ten of swords and anytime we see the ten of swords yes it's referring to the a destructive mental cycle but it is a ten and so it's the end this is the end and what follows directly is the ace of wands which is passion inspiration a new adventure and so what is it asking us to follow this to follow this adventure to follow this passion that what the cards are asking us to do is to prioritize and to bring your gifts out that's the hermit right and the hermit in reverse tells me we've got our wisdom and now it's time to bring it to the world so it's like prioritizing what your skills are on some real level bringing it to the world so that you can help people we have the five of pentacles in reverse here at the end Here's the advice for the future. Na 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 na. Is it working? All right, this this 360 camera, y'all. I'm figuring it out. Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Pentacles says. We have to prioritize because being everything to everybody is not sustainable. What is your real gift? The Five of Pentacles is about needs and communicating needs. If we're talking about Chiron, okay, your wounded healer, once you heal that for yourself, that's what you heal in other people. I'm not saying you're here, here, here to heal other people, but you can help them along by sharing your story, sharing your journey, giving advice. The work is up to each individual on their own, as I like to hear in a particular, I think, Ramdas track. The work needing to be done is in the privacy of your own heart. 
And there we have a callback to Leo, the full moon in Leo, which is happening right now. The full moon in Leo definitely... I'm playing with these cards while I speak to you. The full moon in Leo is definitely calling us and asking us to step into what we are truly capable of. That means no more downplaying. No more playing small either. And on the flip side, if you have been a bit self-involved or egotistical you know that will show that will show in your relationships remember everything is a mirror so what you perceive is also within you if it's not within you it is reflected in your behavior in the world um I wish I could give an example, but I don't want I don't want to give personal examples here. That's why I give examples as metaphors usually. Uh but there but there but I am thinking of a particular situation that occurred um this week or last week. I forget exactly when it was. Yeah. And man, you know, I'm I'm glad I'm feeling great now, but um, being sick the other night was not fun, and yet I'm very grateful for the opportunity to really sit with my own thoughts during this full moon cycle because it did illuminate a lot to me. And so I do want to ask you, I got some journal prompts ready, I put these on my Instagram, go ahead and follow me on the intuitive lens if you want more tarot and reiki content or you can follow me at gp the dp if you just want to see all the stuff that's going on for me in my life but um let me pull up these journal prompts for you for the full moon in the last two weeks what have i cultivated in my life that sparks my creativity or a joy, right? Because Aquari it's Aquarius season, but we have the full moon in Leo, which is innovation, uniqueness, creativity. Uniqueness and creativity. Only you can do what you do. What did you learn about what you can do this, in the last two weeks, this last cycle? Next question. Have I been giving myself enough self-love? You must, you must, you must. Have I been overly confident or self-involved? Like I said before, have I been self-sabotaging my genuine expression of joy and unconditional love? This one is a hard one. Ask yourself honestly. Does your behavior match your intention? And have you been self-sabotaging? All right, to recap, this reading is about... Um, overcoming some some something that may have occurred in the past um, that was unexpected or it made you feel like you were stuck we are overcoming that with um, new inspiration new ideas about how to prioritize um, what we're bringing into the world and it does have a lot to do with helping others help yourself to help the world and I'm going to go back to the first two cards that dropped down because these, these are thematic, right, for the reading. The Six of Cups is a beautiful harmony. This is referring to past energy, so I do feel like when I'm reading this past um, column, this may be a distant past as well. Seven years, right? Because pentacles are the slowest. This might be something that you've been dealing with for seven years. Just a shot in the dark there. But maybe that's why those came out together. And this, this ten of swords is in the center, which is sometimes the timing card position. Swords being the fastest. So ten days. Right? Days, weeks, months, years. Ten days. Within ten days... From when you receive this message, something's going to shift. You'll see. 
Okay, y'all. Thanks for joining me on this weekly um, energy. Um, I'm working on a couple of things. I want to bring you virtual Reiki as well on a weekly basis. I'm thinking on Sundays. Um, if you're interested and you watch these videos, drop a comment below. Let me know, are you a morning person or a night person? Okay. Are you a morning person or a night person? And what I mean by that is, would you do Reiki in the morning or in the evening? Because I've done it in the evenings, and now I'm going to try it in the mornings uh, for what I'm doing here in Jamaica uh, for these in-person events. But I want to know what you think, okay? Um, so let me know. Thanks so much. Uh, check out the recommended listening below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.